I wanted to talk about what it's like to live with mental health disorders. I have um, a major depressive disorder, as it's called MDD, major depressive disorder, severe anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, and uh, PTSD, or PTSS, post-traumatic stress syndrome, complex PTSD, many names for it. Um, now, the type of mental health uh, issues I have are not subject to QR, but can be treated. Okay, so with my depression, um, I take various medications to help that, and I go to therapy. Um, so anxiety, I need to do things like learning to calm myself down, learning to deal with stressful uh, situations, learning to deal with people. I'm also um, most probably on the spectrum, uh, autism spectrum disorder, and that can contribute to me not always getting social cues, not always understanding what people are saying and why, or the reason people do things. But like, um, there's no cure for my type of mental health problems. All right, um, I'm always going to have depression. I'm always going to have anxiety. I just need to learn how to deal with it and control it to the best of my ability. That is just that there. Um, but however, that does not make me or anyone else with mental health problems crazy. I'm perfectly capable of being perfectly rational most of the time, just like everybody else. We have things that can make us feel worse and situations that can make us feel worse um, but that does not mean that we are lunatics or we're all going to go out rampaging and committing violence because honestly people with mental health disorders aren't violent we're not we're more often than likely to be the victims of violence or the victims of crimes than we are to be the commission of any crimes or to be super angry dudes or super anything. And I think it's really important that we can still make rational decisions about a lot. We can still make rational conclusions and that having mental health disorders, it does affect you. It affects every day of every lot of your life. It really does. Um, and it affects, obviously can affect the way you think. But there are times when it doesn't. And I get frustrated by the fact that having mental health disorders, um, I'm an atheist and I've had mental health problems ever since I was a child. Um, the reasons for that are probably best not gone into, but yeah, safe to say um, I've had a lot of mental health problems. Um, but however, I was a Christian and I'm now an atheist. I was a Christian with mental health problems. And now I'm an atheist with mental health problems. I did not. I don't have mental health problems because I'm an atheist, and having mental health problems did not cause me to become an atheist. Okay. Um, I was challenged to look at the reasons why I believed and what did I define as God, and I could no longer find any good evidence. I could no longer believe. It wasn't a choice. I there wasn't. The belief, you know, I got evidence that what I was believing in was not true. And I care about truth. So having mental health problems um, doesn't stop you. And I get really frustrated by a lot of theists who either say all atheists have mental health problems or we must have mental health problems because we don't believe in a God. Um, and that's super degrading. I mean, I have mental health problems, but that's not why I became an atheist and it's got nothing to do with me being an atheist it's a biological condition that occurs because of a variety of things one because I was probably born with certain you know issues like that um I take medication I go to therapy and I've been like that this for years it's I don't know if it's getting any better or any worse it may not it changes how it works I mean it changes how it does things and it changes how I cope obviously in a lot of different situations it's very difficult sometimes it's it does not mean I can't be rational have rational conversations and I don't think calling people with mental health problems like loony or crazy or 
batshit and whatever. It's not. Let's not do that to each other. I mean, having mental health problems is no other, no different to someone, say, having diabetes. Instead of, like, your pancreas having an issue, which is diabetes, your brain's having issues, which is mental health problems. And sometimes mental health problems can be temporary, and sometimes they can be permanent or long-term. Um, sometimes they're not really subject to a lot of treatment. I actually have a form of what's called treatment-resistant depression. So I take medication, take therapy, and it does not always change a great deal about it. It's very treatment resistant. I've had a lot of different treatments for it and not a lot works. So I get severe depression. Um, I get things like suicidal ideation regularly and that's hard, you know. Um, I get lack of self-worth, lack of uh, value and that's something to do with being an atheist. I used to feel that as a Christian. I used to feel that and that's common depression. It is. Uh, and I would urge people who do feel depression or suicidal to get help. I would urge that because I think, look, for a lot of people this condition is temporary and there is help out there and you can get help and you should. For those of people like me where it's more permanent and while treatment certainly helps, it's never going to cure it you're going to stuck like this for whatever's left of my life, it's a lot harder because, you know, we are, you know, there are, I have a lot of good days, but I have a hell of a lot of really bad ones. And, you know, a lot of crying sometimes, a lot of getting angry or upset or just not being able to deal. Um, it's difficult to live like this a lot of your life. And... Yes, treatment does help, but it, there's no cure for what I have. Um, and yes, I have been like put in a psychiatric ward against my will. It's called sectioned. And it sucked, but it was necessary at the time. But it's a difficult call to make because obviously people with some mental health problems do lack stability in able to deal with day-to-day -day life. So is it better to let them be homeless or out in the street or taking lots of drugs or is it better to have them at least in a comfortable situation where they're being monitored and being treated even if that is against their will? It's That's not a clear case scenario. In some cases yes, in other cases no. And it is it is a difficult thing because like Dealing with self-destructive or suicidal tendencies is very difficult because there's a lot of things that can make you feel like that and having major depressive disorder is one of them as is PTSD and I'm not going to get into the reasons for that but I think we need to learn compassion and empathy. We need to provide better systems for helping people now there are some people where it's extremely difficult to help, um, paranoid schizophrenia and amongst others. And there are greater or lesser degrees obviously of mental health. And I mean like right this second I don't need to be in a psychiatric ward because I'm not fine but reasonably you know okay considering the circumstances. But I'm never going to be fine. That's the thing. That's never going to happen with me. Unless they find some better way of treating treatment-resistant depression. Which so far, um, there are different techniques that work sometimes with different people. And sometimes they don't work at all. Which is me. But look, I think this is difficult. Um, we're talking about things that most people don't want to lose somebody to suicide or to mental health problems. We don't want to see people suffering. So we need to make sure there's adequate free mental health care that people can get access to, adequate free uh, mental health drugs, whatever that be. Um, adequate, you know, sometimes inpatient, you know, ward, psychiatric ward care for those periods of time when maybe that is required. And to know that 
that is not going to be enough that it's unfortunate and it's horrible that we are going to lose some degree of people to mental health problems or to suicide because of arranging things a lot, a lot of social problems like you know um, people being discriminated against people being treated poorly people being told there's something wrong with them for being gay or trans um, we can stop a lot of this by, you know, saying there's nothing wrong with being gay or trans. It's not a sin. It's not against God's nature. Yes, gay should be allowed to get married. Trans people should be allowed to get gender-based health care, including transitional care. People should be allowed to get abortions. People should be able to do whatever they want to do. And it's difficult because, like, obviously the decision to commit suicide is maybe not always a rational one. But if somebody's dying of otherwise terminal disease, we do allow them to, to have voluntary euthanasia in most places. Now, you might think that severe depression, and I am talking severe, I'm not talking mild, stuff that lasts a couple of months or whatever, I'm talking severe depression and cases, it's difficult. What do we do? I believe if they are rational enough to be able to make the decision, Perhaps maybe then they should be allowed to make that decision to voluntary euthanasia. Not saying that we should kill them against their will or when they're in a case of not being able to determine that. But maybe we should be able to give them that choice. I don't know if that's a solution. Because look, the problem is we don't have nearly enough mental health care at the moment. We don't have nearly enough good social services like free education and housing and proper wages and uh, distribution from the rich to the poor. We don't have a situation in where a lot of people aren't going to struggle mentally. So we need to be out there supporting each other. So we need to make things better for people all round. We need to make sure nobody's going hungry, no child should be poor. All education should be funded and free. There shouldn't be this classes thing between the rich and the poor. Everyone should have the right to the same resources and the right to the same degree of whatever. And it doesn't, you know, the fact that people think that people who are poor are lazy and don't want to work when they do. A lot of them work very hard. They just don't get paid well. The pay discrimination is disgusting. So look, there's so much we can do to help fix problems that people are going to face that might drive them to you know, want to commit suicide. You know, stop discrimination. Stop telling people their sinners are going to burn in hell. Stop telling them they need to get right with God, Jesus, Muhammad, Allah, whoever you want, Jehovah. I mean, Yahweh, you know, Vishnu, uh, pick your poison. Just stop. People, there's nothing wrong with being gay or trans or lesbian or bi or pansexual or whatever people. People are what they are. Just accept it and move on with your life. Stop trying to create a problem and let's make life fair for people and get better access to stuff that's another thing we can do if you're serious about wanting to help people we need to stop start by helping people solve everyday problems that'd be a good start but also to stop the prejudice against people with mental health problems there's a great stigma to having a mental health problem and that's not helping anyone because a lot of people then are frightened to go to a doctor or frightened to be labelled as mentally ill. Especially frightened to be, have to have a job and have a mental illness. You know, because there's just this horrible stigma. And a lot of people have secret mental health illness. They either keep secret or they don't know they have. It goes undiagnosed. It can often lead to horrible tragic consequences. And that's not great. It's got to be something better than this. So I'm going to talk about my mental health illness. It's not fun. Um, I'm aware that a lot of people are going to look down on me for this, and that sucks. But I just wish people, you know, you need to maybe take a beat and just hold on and just think, you know, like this is no different than any person having any other condition that's wrong with them. Right? Bad heart, bad lungs, whatever. So, okay, just my mind sometimes doesn't always cope the best way it can. Because, you know, the chemicals aren't always straight in my mind. That's why I'm on medication to treat it. 
Okay, it's a chemical issue, depression and mental health problems in your brain. Does it, you know, not everything works the way it should all the time, but I don't know any human that everything works the way it should all the time anyway. So I am no different to you. Everyone's going to feel depressed at some point in their life. Mine, I'm just stuck with for life. And it's severe depression. It's major depressive disorder. It's not minor. Okay, so I am no different to anyone else. And no one, nor is anybody else, with mental health problems. We are just the same as you. We are just people who have this issue. But we shouldn't be discriminated or feared or have stories told about us or treated as less than for that. Um, just, you know, maybe just provide friendship and support community. That would be helpful to people with mental health problems. Like we should do for everybody.